Hi everyone, welcome to my third draft video. Uh, once again we're presented with a pack that might split opinions, there's nothing really stands out as immediately pickable, the rare's a bit boring, and there's no uncommon bomb. I've been having a lot of success, as have <laughs> as has pretty much everyone recently with White Aggro, and I'm torn between White Knight and Crusader, and I have no idea which is the pick. <laughs> I don't want to take Sign and Blood because, I've said before, I don't really like heavy black. You can get the nuts black deck, but that involves being black being really open, and black blue is quite commonly drafted online. The thing the white aggro deck needs the most is two drops to be bashing with while you get your pacifisms and bounce and excommunicates going. So I'm gonna go for the white knight and regret it. Another pack with nothing particularly exciting in. Could go for Ember Hauler, but it's red. And even though I used to like red because it's underdrafted, it's not really worth going for it because it's underdrafted for a reason. Mana Leak is not the most exciting card to be going into blue for. And so I see no reason in this pack to steer away from the Bears theme. Yeah, there's just another pack with nothing that makes me want to stop drafting aggressive white. It's worth noting that we passed three sign in bloods, but I mean, three sign in bloods probably one too many. And hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of red in this pack, and there was an ember hoil last pack, so hopefully we can send our neighbour into black red while we reap the royals pack two. We don't necessarily have to decide on a second colour, we can just keep drafting white. Having said that, we cannot keep drafting white in this pack. Um, having passed a bunch of sign and bloods is awkward because assassinate is probably the best card in the pack. I've never really played with time reversal, although it does seem good on paper. If you're playing an aggressive deck and you empty your hand early, then you can get your opponent so hard with that. It's good if you're playing, say, blue-red with a lot of burn, but I'm really not sure. White black is <laughs> white black is so awkward. I don't really want to draft assassinate, especially as it's a defensive card. Um, I could take the minotaur, but it doesn't really do anything, and I don't like going white green. I think I'm going to take gamble and take the mythic. I probably won't end up playing it, but then I probably won't end up playing any cards in that pack. Uh, we can return to the usual, <laughs> the regularly scheduled viewing with the pack and go back to white. I really like excommunicate. It's been increasing my pick priority quite a lot recently because it just if you've got a tempo based deck it's such a blowout on any creature they make turn three onwards you've made a two drop and it's such a tempo swing for you again nothing too exciting rock egg is the last card you want in an aggressive deck <laughs> that's polymorph is interesting but never played with it in draft let me know if you have um could take the Siege Mastodon, but the chance of me playing it alone, I mean I'll only play it if I have a, a deck that I, I'm not happy with. Uh, I think at this stage, as much as I don't like White Black, I also probably won't play the Mastodon, so I think I might take the Mind Drop. Well, having said that, I might take the Mastodon. I don't think it makes too much difference either way, but the Mastodon's a fine card to board in against creature decks that attack on the ground. And we get a nice white card. Getting mixed signals here. White seems to be on off on off. I'm not sure what that means entirely. And yeah, we can just keep taking bears. I think they didn't really work hard enough on making a Johnny's Pride Mate good in this set. They could have had, say, a three mana one three flying lifelink or something similar, but there are really not enough ways of triggering it. And really no cards in here that <laughs> strike me as pickable. I guess the the one that someone might be building a deck around is Vistress here. They might have the Axe of Trees in deck. The others are all unlikely to get played. Take a bad white creature. And... Um, white, uh, safe Passage is really bad in aggressive decks. And so even though I might be boarding in, I think it's likely that I'll get 
one in the next two packs. So I'm going to take this in case I get a bunch of squadron hawks. And it's a rare anyway. Uh, doesn't really matter which I take. Holy strength, again, people say that you should board it in against Ice Cage, but I really don't see why you should do that. You're boarding in a really bad card to deal with a card that isn't even that good. If they don't have Ice Cage and you do have Holy Strength, then you'll wish you hadn't boarded it in. Uh, that's a nice mythic to be opening. And I kind of wish I'd gone into White Black. But having said that, I might have even picked the Doom Blade if I'd been in White Black aggro. And I might still pick the Doom Blade. But then there's also no communicate, and like I said, communicate is one of the cards I want to see most of all when I'm drafting white X aggro. Um, communicate or Doomblade is the pick. I'm not going to take the Planeswalker just because it's double black. If I were to play black, it would be a splash. That's one of the reasons I wasn't taking Sign in Blood. Um, I think most of the time, communicate is close to close to being a Doomblade anyway. It's just you don't really care what creature they have because it's just a blocker that you want to get out of the way. So the one I'll definitely play I think is the pick. And we are back to the unexciting packs. There's an uncommon miss uh, sorry, a common missing, so could have been anything really. I really like Ember Haulers, but I don't know. I really like drafting mono red with a bunch of ember haulers. It's not happening this time, obviously, but they seem to be really underdrafted. They come around really late, I suppose. Again, like I said, it's because they're red. But uh, having said all that, there's no reason that I shouldn't keep just taking two two flyers. And it looks like we cut white de uh, reasonably well because we get pacifism. I mentioned squadron hawks. And I probably wouldn't take it if there was anything else I'd want from this pack, but as much as I don't want to face Pyroclasm, I'm not going to hate it when there's a card that could potentially be great in my deck. I've got a pack and a half to see more Squadron Hawks. And the Infantry Veteran. I mentioned Crystal Hoy in my last draft. At the start of the format, I would have been amazed to see it this late, but people have realised that it's actually not that good. If you're playing against my deck, for example, I go 2 drop, 3 drop, you're on the draw on your first play as a crystal ball, the game's just over. And I really want that inspired charge, but infantry brethren makes blocking for your opponent so awkward. And that seems to be a theme in my deck at the moment with excommunicates and stuff. Uh, I can hide green because probably won't be playing that. Um, speaking of excommunicate, there's a third one, but assault griffins just the better pick for me. I, I like Excommunicate more than Assault Griffin, usually, but Excommunicate loses value when you don't have that many creatures. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep saying King of White cards. Hopefully, <laughs> there's a chance that my, the person on my right was thinking about why they might have got a pacifism or something, and they weren't too sure, and hopefully if I cut it off enough from this pack, they'd have abandoned it. Uh... I guess I'd most like to play Stabbing Pain, but unlikely to play any of those. Uh, which one's better? This one. Zero. Sidewalk against <laughs> Suicide Red. No primeval sides in, but pacifism is pretty good anyway. We kind of want more bears. <laughs> bears are one of the key parts, one of the you know key components of this kind of deck. Because once you've got pacifism, excommunicates, and infantry veterans, you don't actually care what your two drop does as long as it has a body. So stuff like white nice and war priest of tune, <laughs> the two the, the stats are more relevant than the other abilities. Shaping up to be quite a nice deck. We probably won't play the Palace Guard. We definitely won't play the Forest. <laughs> and we probably won't play the Time Reversal. Or the Jinxed Idol. Or the Golden Glimmer. So we've got 17 playables so far. Uh, 16 without the Palace Guard. So yeah, it's not looking too bad. 
and we get a flying bear. Flying bear is better than a non-flying bear, so we'll take that. Um, this is the always awkward situation of bomb that costs too much. But having said that, it's either I'd be taking either that or a scroll thief. Uh, I'll just look what I have in blue. I think it might just be yeah, it's literally just the time reversal I have in blue. I think. Um, I wouldn't play Save Passage main deck. I wouldn't play Siege Master on main deck. Um, as much as I don't want to start splashing blue for Scroll Thief, Scroll Thief is really good with what I already have. I have two excommunicates for Infantry Retro and two Pacifism. And the chances of me playing Vendral Arc on a. F well, I'll, I'll play it if I pick it, but I mean, it won't really annoy me if someone else has it. So I think I take a risk and take the Thief. And yeah, I'll just take more efficient flies. Uh, another flying bear. <laughs> We're passing a lot of good cards this draft. I haven't really been paying much attention to what I'm passing, but it looks like I maybe should have been in black. But I mean, white's just all round better than black. Like, what griffins are <laughs> better than howling banshees normally? Not not in a vacuum, but in this kind of deck. Um, the national champion Jonathan Randall, former national champion, sorry, is trying to distract me from my draft. He was hoping that the chat would pop up, but I've already got it shrunk to the right over here. Um, I guess I'll take my one safe passage. Could have hated a combust, but I mean, chances of it bothering me are slim. And another smoothie. Take the fling, because it might bother me. And another bear, perfect. And yeah, more like to play two Macedon than two Safe Passage. I probably won't play the Diminish. But then I don't really care if my opponent has volcanic strength. Yeah, I'll take the Diminish. Diminish isn't a very good card. A lot of people play it, but it's not that great. And it also never works how you want it to. It doesn't shrink a giant growth guy, it doesn't shrink an equipped guy, it doesn't shrink a, an enchanted guy, it's just <laughs> it's just not very good. I'd play it if I had multiple pyromancers or something, but I, it's usually a 23rd card. It's not something I, I actively want to play. Let's get building. Didn't get any more squadron hawks, which is a shame. But uh, like I was saying, the Pride Mate, it's really underdrafted, but it seems like a theoretically really good card. It's just because there are no decks that it goes in, which is a real shame. There are no easy ways of gaining life. Um, it looks like I might have to play the squadron hawk after all. I'll probably play one Siege Macedon. And is it worth adding a bunch of islands just for Scroll Thief? I think it probably is. I don't want to play twenty. Uh, I don't want to play eighty land because, as you can see, my curve is very low. So I think four islands is fine. Not going to play the jinx died or I don't know actually. I could board that in if my opponent's not playing many creatures. Because I, I almost lost to this recently in just a local FNM. I just wasn't expecting my opponent just goes wall of vines, jinx died will give it to you, and I started taking a bunch of damage off it. I was sacking my scroll thieves to give it back to him. So it's. <laughs> It was better than I thought it'd be. So yeah, I bought it in if my opponent's got either good creatures or not many creatures. And then I can start trading bears for their guys. But as things stand, I mean you have to say creature to give it to your opponent to start with. So it's kind of card disadvantage. I don't, like I said, I don't want to play Safe Passage because it's just a really defensive card and I'm not a defensive deck. This is best when you've just got some big guys. Or, no, well, a bunch of small guys. They attack with two big guys, you gang block both and Safe Passage. That's what it's at its best. It was a lot better in M10, but in this kind of deck it's just not worth it. So I will add some lands. Modo suggests one island, probably. Yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, so 13-4 is fine. I'm not going to cut screw with that. And submit to you for round one. 